Good morning. How are you? How are you? How are you? Happy, 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 happy Friday and happy, happy, happy Revenge of the Fifth. Um, I was going to on yesterday, which was May the 4th be with you. Um, I didn't because I was having too much fun here at home. I was by myself and I absolutely had a ball. Um, they were playing Star Wars movies all day on the TBS station here in New York City, which would be channel eight for us. But the thing was, is that I, when I want to watch a good movie, I really don't care for it to be with commercials, if I can help it. Um, so what I did was I pulled out all my Blu-ray Star Wars discs and I watched all of them, as many as I could. And I stopped here at about 10 o'clock last night. It was, they were on all day. And I said, you know what? Why would I sit and watch the movie with commercials when I actually have all the movies here? So I want to watch them. I have my blue, because I, we have Blu-ray discs. Um, and I have a 55 inch TV set. And I also have the sound bar, which is the Samsung sound bar. So I had movie theater surround sound in my living room. So when the explosions came, it was great. <laughs> so I gave it myself. I said, you know what? I'm going to pretend I'm in the movie theater. Made myself some hot dogs and, and got myself a soda. Sat there, watched, binged, watched all my Star Wars movies. So I had a ball. I really, really, really had a ball. <clears throat> Today is Friday. It is the 5th. It is Guardians of the Galaxy Part 3 today movie theater yes i am so excited i got up i'm washing my hair for this i'm trying to you know get myself in gear and my movie will start at uh, 12 noon which is good because that is the earliest showing as you know that i spoke about it the other day um wow really what a great day yesterday i feel like today that i have a star wars hangover it's real <laughs> i feel like i went out all night <laughs> But it was an exciting day. Um, today, because it's Revenge of the Fifth, they are still, uh, the TBS station is still showing Star Wars movies. They are just, um, right now, they are on Empire Strikes Back. So, my last movie last night, which was one of my originals, which was Return of the Jedi. That's where I ended mine, because I watched three of them in a, you know, in a row, in order. That's my order. You know, I mean, I'm from 1977. I was 10 years old when Star Wars came out, so. Oh, good memories, good memories, good memories. Um, thank you so much for liking um, my Instagram page, like some of my photos that I've been posting, because I've been posting like some dim Disney, Dimmy, yeah, okay. Disney memories and um, certain memories are coming out and coming up. Um, thank you also for liking, because I think it's a great idea. That's why I figured I'd share it with you people. There was a woman on a Facebook page um, you'll see my pictures that were, uh, you know, displaying her ears, hanging them on a wall. Um, what she was using, which I didn't even think, I'll be honest with you, I don't know where my head is. Does anybody else think of using shower curtain hooks to attach all the ears in a row? What a great idea. What a great idea. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go to my dollar store today. I'm going to see if I can pick up some shower curtain hooks because... I have my, my Disney ears, my Disney-inspired ears. Maybe I'd like to display those as well. So I, I'll see what I can do. Um, I do have that ear display, which was the, the thing with the roll. It's um, it's professional looking. You know, it's, it's, a, it's an actual looking like a store display. Um, it usually holds headbands. Well, I put my ears on it. But my ears are so big and bulky that they're kind of like there's not enough room on it. I know they make them longer, but I really don't want to go that route to keep going longer and longer. I can't, I can't do that. What I was thinking of maybe possibly taking the idea of doing the um, the ears in a row and hanging them. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, what a what a great idea. I don't I don't know where sometimes my head is. I really don't. I would have thought of that. They would have been up on my wall already. So, um, just having. Having my cup of tea here. I had coffee yesterday. Don't really feel like coffee today when I'm going out. Um, now, I found out for sure, but I, you know, I have to see it for myself. The Rocket Popcorn Bucket at the AMC Movie Theater. They are saying that it's going for $50. 
I don't think I'm going to be doing it. I don't, not for $50. I can, I, you know, sometimes these things and they know that people are going to purchase it. It's the, in the now moment, you're having a now moment. You say, okay, you know what? I have to buy this. You know, some people will probably buy two. I'm sure they'll wind up on eBay. I'm sure they're going to do it. I didn't even bother looking on eBay yet. Now the movie um, was pre-shown yesterday, even though today is the actual opening day. So the AMC theater was actually showing it yesterday. Um, sometime like starting at like, I think it's like three o'clock or five o'clock. So I guess for school kids to, you know, want to get out of the, want to get out of school and possibly see the movie. But, you know, um, I'm interested to find out how this movie is going to do. Usually on Sunday night or Monday morning, they usually tell you um, what movies made the most money and how they raked you know, how they rate it at the box office. So I, I'm usually eager to find out about that, especially if I'm going today to see the movie. So um, a friend of mine did see it, no spoilers. She laughed, she cried. She says, you know, it was, it was, it was an emotional, she didn't think she was gonna get that emotional. So I'm excited for it, I really am. What else people, what else? I have my shirt already, I have everything ready to go. It's only 8.22 a.m. <laughs> If I could have went to an earlier showing, if they were showing it, I would have went. Um, that's how excited I am to see it. But $50 for the popcorn bucket, I just, I don't. I can't do it, folks. Can't do it. Cannot do it. Ugh, just can't do it. You know, I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. That's all I can keep saying to you. Um... Has anybody heard of Miss Melody? My uh, friend last night, she's, you know, in her Sunshine Boutique, the store that I, that my friend runs, um, her little side, side gig. Um, she, she has all Miss Melody stuff. It's, it's, it's kind of there, kind of, what I did was yesterday, because I really didn't know about it. So I was on her live and I was watching and people are buying things and she's got Miss Melody keychains and she's got, uh, Hello Kitty. I kind of thought that they were, um, together. Well, it, I looked it up on Google. This is how I had to do it because I never really heard of Miss Melody. I've seen I've seen her. We have uh, an Oriental store. We have an Asian store in the mall, and they do sell um, squishmallows and 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 things like that of of the Miss Melody line. But I didn't know about her. So I, what did I do last night? I googled her. <laughs> I said, "Who is this Miss Melody chick? Who are you? And what is your title? You know, who are you? And what do you do here?" Um, well, they happen to be friends of Hello Kitty. It makes sense. And all her other little friends. So I was looking at all the characters. Miss Melody's cute. She's cute. Um, they said the history and the origin about her. It's a cartoon series. She's the friend of Hello Kitty. You know, and then they go down the line of each other one. Um, Kimora. Kimoro. Kimori. Kimori. I like Kimori. They said that she's a nice, she's a nice friend, but she's, I don't know if she's got like an evil streak to her or something. I was reading something about that. If somebody can enlighten me on this, but, um, this is the way Google was portraying it. I was on Wikipedia of all places to find out about a cartoon, but so they were telling me the origin and what each character was about and who they're friends with. And I, I think it was cute. So <clears throat> my sunshine, my friend is sunshine, her sunshine boutique is selling, um, things like that. She's had the light up cups. I think they were going for $15. She also had stitch bags, which is the stitch, um, plush bags. They were cute. She right now, she only has the purple one left and I think that's going for $25. So, um, I'm not into that, but they were really cute bags. She did sell the original blue stitch and I think she sold, um, angel, which was the pink one, but now she has a purple stitch. So, Pretty cool, pretty cool. I guess it's the season for different things and that's okay. She did have some Disney socks and stuff like that, but you know what? I mean, right now it's, you know, everything's hitting me all at once, but then again, I have a Primark store near me. So it's kind of like Primark is kind of taking me over and that's fine too, but I still buy my inspired stuff that I do. Absolutely. I'm going to be an advocate for this. Let me tell you, I'm going to be an advocate. Okay. 
one of the news of the day for me, and I think I've been saving this long enough, and I've read it and I reread it and I wanted to understand it, that the Florida District Board, and I can't say this with a straight face because I have been telling you people this for a few months, that don't underestimate the governor and don't underestimate the state of Florida. I have been getting slammed for this, but you know what? I got I got to come back for this now. Now that it's actually confirmed that it will happen, that the Florida uh, Tourism uh, District Board, if I'm getting this right, forgive me on this, has um, ordered, they are going to be ordered to send in their own inspectors to inspect the Disney monorail system. Yes. Now, what I have been saying for the longest time, and I proved this to myself and I proved this to everybody, I have been getting into more arguments over these things. My thing is, and I'm being truthfully honest, I sometimes you just need to keep your mouth shut, and that's true. But you know what? When you are so animate and so passionate about what you believe in, you want to prove well, I, I am a prover to people. And this, I just, I'm jumping for joy over. I really am. Because they are bringing in their own inspectors to inspect the monorail system. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to call this. Not only are they going to probably do that, somebody's going to have to get involved with the rides. Don't you realize that there are too many rides that are breaking down? These, this park is just breaking down in sections. And it just goes sporadically throughout the day. People are not paying for this. This is not the experience people are paying for. Don't you want to make the best at what you can? I don't feel Disney's doing this. I, I don't see it. I, and if you do, if you, you know, there are people that come after me that you don't know what you're talking about. Well, I know what I'm talking about now because those inspectors are coming in because those monorails are not doing in great shape either. They're not in great shape because I'll be honest with you, last, last year, September, I sat in the monorail and it was a very heavy rain, a little bit of thunder, no lightning, because I know they don't run with lightning. I was actually stuck in a lightning storm on a monorail back in the early 90s. I actually have that on video where, where me and my husband are in the monorail. Boom! And you hear it hit. And we stopped rolling. And we had to stay there on the tracks for about 20 to 25 minutes. I have that on vintage video. It was... It was it, you know, it's like an experience, but I'm glad I have that on video. If I could pull that up, I don't even think I have that on DVD. I didn't transfer my videos to DVD at that point. Anyway, but I do have it. So I'm sitting last year in the monorail. It's raining. A little bit of uh, thunder, but no lightning. So we were still rolling. And I was getting hit. There was a leak inside the monorail. I was getting hit with the water. You have a good monorail system. What are you doing? Why is it leaking? Don't anybody come in and inspect? Now, you claim you have your own inspectors. This is where the argument with me and somebody else came in. Oh, but Disney's got their own inspectors. They have all that taken care of. I says, listen, you didn't sit in a monorail last year, 2019, where you had rain pouring on you because the freaking monorail was leaking. I was. I was. I was sitting there. So we kind of went back and forth. Yeah, but you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. This is the rose-colored glasses going on, folks. This is what I'm saying. I can't, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. You're not dealing with more of a reality, okay? You're not paying for that either. But people are going to see what they want. They're going to think what they want. They're going to believe what they want instead of looking at the actual facts. Well, I win because now the inspectors are coming in from the outside to inspect the monorails. This could be a plus. I welcome this. And I want them to also do the rides. I do. Now, if you think the governor cannot do what he's doing, it, there it is. That's step one. He's doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm glad for this. I'm glad for this because I'll be honest with you, as much as I am a Disney fan and as much as I gave my heart and soul to, to this company as being a fan and being a supporter and, and going to these places all these years and being a huge Disney fan and just enough is enough. That's where the reality comes in. This is what I wanted. And this was step one. So I'm waiting for them because it's been turned that it's going to happen. That's what I wanted.
okay? So never underestimate anybody. This is what I've been saying. So everybody's got a hatred for the governor and a hatred for the state of Florida. Listen, I'll be honest with you, and I'm just saying this from the heart. Disney has been getting away with a lot for a lot of years, okay? It may have been so, it may have been written on paper that they can, they have their own government they had their own you know their property is private it's a private it's you know what it's almost like i we i understand it's all separate i understand that, but you're going there for years it's all separate it's a disney bubble that's what it is well it is about time that the bubble get popped you're gonna have to start letting outsiders in if you have nothing to fear if you have confidence in yourself that you are doing the best at what you can with that property and you are doing the best of what you can to provide good service and good entertainment and good atmosphere and just a great time for everybody then you got nothing to worry about uh -huh. anyway so that's it on that one i don't know when it's going to happen but i'm sure we will know and this is the news that I enjoy. I enjoy the realism. I enjoy the real news. I don't want to see the fake and the fluff anymore. I can't do it. As a matter of fact, I never could. But we put up with it for so long. People are still living in the fantasy. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Um, one of the people actually wrote me this morning, which was which was wonderful. She finally saw the article. She says, and she thanked me very much. Um, because they were in the newspaper last week, in my ho own hometown newspaper of the New York Post, there was an article about um, Disney bounding and being a Disney adult. So I sent this article to the certain person because they are actually in the article. So I found it online before I said that. I sent them the online version. I don't have the newspaper. My husband got rid of it for some reason. That's whatever. But... It was in the newspaper and it's in the article. So she just wrote me this morning. She thanked me so much. She says, oh my God, we didn't even know. I says, well, there it is. <laughs> I says, I figured, you know, I mean, you guys are in it. You should know about it. So I just, you know, did the neighborly thing, I guess. And I did that. And I, and I was glad for it. Um, <coughs> Miss K and Miss O, I did send that package the other day. They got it in two days. They got it yesterday. So I just... She um, uh, let me know how she liked it and everything. Um, now I can tell you what I did give to them. And I will show you this if I can. I think I have it here. Yes, I do. And I purchased, you know, I purchased these, what, last month, a few weeks ago, that I told you that I'm bringing, I purchased two for myself because I'm bringing one down to Disney World and I'm staying, you know, I'm keeping one here, which are these special bags. So I purchased these and I purchased two of these, one for Miss K and one for Miss O, because um, I like to do different things. Now, she was very kind to send me my princess shirt, which is beautiful. It's awesome. And I thank you so much for that. So I wanted to um, get you something that you don't have in your area or maybe you don't have the store in your area which is always me because i'm kind of it's the uniqueness of me that i get something different that nobody else you know has or you know just something like that i mean you know the, the usual disney stuff i didn't want to do so i purchased the bags i purchased two more of them and i sent one to miss k and one to miss o and they're, they're grateful and they love and these are let me tell you i'm telling you these are strong bags these are very these are heavy canvas i love these um canvas no they're not canvas i think no they're not canvas um i was gonna say potato sack <laughs> forget it i'm still on a star wars kick folks I, i'm i got my hangover going anyhow these are the bags so and like i said i purchased two for myself one for disney world that one down and one for here and that's really it on that one all right um i think i've talked enough <clears throat> I've given certain information, Disney information. I'm very happy to uh, repeat. And I'm going to finish my tea and I'm going to sit down. I'm going to relax. And I think I'm just going to hang out and watch Empire Strikes Back yet again. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, people, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for, for your liking and your interactions. God bless you all. Have a wonderful, safe day today have a good friday and 
May the fifth treat us well. <laughs> May the revenge of the fifth treat us well. All right. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Love to all. Bye-bye.